everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i will continue modeling this drill as you can notice in our tutorial that this section where you can hold this drill is a bit bigger so let's make it smaller go over here just i'm gonna be turning on the extra mode feature so let's uh, grab it a little bit should I forgot to turn off the this feature proportional editing control Z turn it off then let's grab it just a little bit to make the right shape so just I think I should scale it just a tiny bit just like this because this shape is much bigger and uh, doesn't fit the realistic shape of the drill then turn off the x-ray mode as shown here just i'm going step by step to explain it clearly because uh, skipping some important steps uh, is going to be so bad and later so let's work on some uh, important sections over here Let's delete that face, select it, delete it because we don't need it. It's going to be making some shoes later on. So let's go forward to show something pretty interesting. The shape is pretty amazing and need to work on a little bit. So switch to vertex select mode. Let's zoom in. Then I'm going to work on the handle. This section is called the handle where you want to handle and adding some buttons like the switch button to switch uh, to switch it on and to switch it off this area here need to be shrinked in a, a bit so let's select all those vertices over there then drop them on x axis inward tiny bit Yes, it's good to fit the shape we want to make. This section is a bit bigger, so let's work on it. Hit 3 for side view. I think it's not bad like this. Then what we should do in this case, I think I should add a loop cut going over this section to add and to model a button over here, switch button. Control R, add another loop cut, hit E to fit it in this section just a tiny bit. I think it's not bad, not bad, just like this. So let's rotate the view, let's see what we have. The button is going to stick around this corner over here. So you just want to add some supported loop cuts to support that section all over different corners Control R again to add another loop cut over here so let's see what we should do in this case I want to create a button and judging from some reference images the button is going the switch button is going to be here and going down and slightly created to deal with this section pretty well let's select this loop cut going over here like this hold on shift deselect this to vertices i think i should just grab it on the z axis move it down using the g and the z So let's see what we have. I think I should undo. Then also select this vertex, grab it on the Z axis just a tiny bit. Ink like this, it's fine and good to add lock uh, power lock switch over here to add just to that button. 
And all we need to, to do this time, let's switch to face select mode, like this. Let's extrude it. So let's extrude it on the Y axis, on the Z axis. Just like this. In some cases, so in this case, we have a gap in between this face and this face. Have some gap over there. Let's dissolve it and remove that gap. Let's add a loop cut control R over there, then slide it until it until it reaches that section we want to dissolve that gap and remove it just in some cases so let's merge at last you should select this vertex then hold on shift select this vertex and you can see this vertex is highlighted in white as shown here empty merge not at center you sh should use merge at last and that is doing neat like this select these two vertex merge at last also so let's see what we have later on because we have another face i think between the gap and this section so let's see how to delete it switch to face select mode let's hide this face Select these two faces, select and hide it, and delete it. Delete faces. Because this later is going to make a crazy shading issues. And Alt H to get back your hide it face, as shown here. I think it's pretty amazing. And here we go. I've created the basic shape of the drill. See you in the next tutorial to continue modeling this amazing drill. Thanks for watching.